all the comments about the last little video and people are actually happy for me to talk to camera lakeside example of a big fish big mirror carp this time look at the scales on the side quite unusual almost like fingerprints again big fat fish I walked over like I said pod of spawners they're certainly jazzing around and chasing each other so they think they're in spawn mode Anyway, again, I was about to put a cast into the, the fish from further away. I saw three shadows now close to me. Dropped a fly in front of one of them. I think I bumped him because I spooked him. Anyway, he shot off, but not in a great hurry. So anyway, I flicked another cast out in front of him and he just went straight over and just nailed the fly and gave me a run around. But look at the big fat fish. I think this one, even though it was in, had its head down in feet, mate, I think it's a big spawner. It looks like a big fat spawner. Anyway, quite unusual with the old mirror cup. So, again, I don't know if that's going to focus. It's very muddy, it's very muddy on the edges here. It's almost a bit treacherous just, uh, with the water levels dropping. That's my orange fly. My favourite orange fly, just up here, it just seems the fish just seem to respond to it for some reason. I tried it out last year and I couldn't believe that fish were just cruising along and as soon as they see the fly, they would come over and wolf it down. Okay, what do you think about that for a beautiful big old carp? You've got to love it. I love carp. Yeah, the muddy mud marlin. It's They're it fun. It was your old trick though of cast across him and pull it to him and then it drop in front of him. And he just took it, just rolled on it, he was gone. It was absolutely beautiful. Gave me a hell of a fight. And again, the orange fly does the trick. I'm just so super happy with that orange fly. Yeah, well, what have, you've got to give it a good name. What about Kelly's Carp Eliminator? Or, Kelly, an orange Kelly carp. That sounds all right. <laughs> Kelly carp orange, a KCO. Yeah. Like yeah. a knockout with a C in the middle. If you like that, it'd be good because uh, unfortunately I actually can't take the credit for that fly. That fly is a direct copy of of McTage in the States. Ah. And so um, I've seen his stuff on YouTube and his website. and um, So you've got to make some subtle difference. Yeah, and so it's a, a bit of a derivation of that. But he, I certainly got the inspiration from him. and. I didn't think the, uh, the US flies would work here in Australia, and so I just tried a couple up to try. Especially this water here, that orange fly, I've just seen it time and time again where the fish just see the fly and they just go over and snuggle it up. It's they fantastic. love it, don't they? And your, uh, your, your new prototype pink one worked well this morning. Yeah, well we just saw uh, a variation on the theme and uh, tried some different colours, so we just did the hot pink uh, zonker strip. And I didn't land the, the fish, but I, I pricked one also had one on and he just got off, but in both cases the, they were both sight fished, cast two, fish saw the fly straight away, saddled over and got it. Again, worked a treat, so I th I'm going to chalk that up as a win. So. Absolutely, now that was a win alright. Now look, I'm going to give this thing a good bang on the head to put it out of its misery mercifully, and then we'll put it up the bank because I think one of those big eagles we saw this morning will have this. Yeah, that'd be a nice dinner for him, so I'll say. Well thanks for your contribution, that's a cracker fly, and that gave me one hell of a fight. Brilliant. Excellent, Paula. Way to go. Cheers.